I, I know you're all psyched to see the movie, so I'm not gonna give a big speech here. I just wanna give a shout out to the man who, without him, this whole thing would be impossible. Where is he? Anthony Soprano, everybody. Hey. All right, go. Cool. Once he came on board, the whole thing fell together. And uh, all the other investors, too, plus my wife, Kelly, and our new baby. I love you guys. OK, then. Cell phone's off, and I uh, hope you like the movie. Prove it. Oh, so you can argue with me now? <laughs> oh, it's just, I mean, he's practically like your own son. I'm sorry, Sally. I think we ought to give him a pass. I didn't ask you what you fucking think. Motherfucking son of a. <laughs> That's you. No. Oh, it is. You find where this Petson Avante is, and you bring him to the butcher shop. They're gonna find pieces of this kid all over fucking Canarsie. Yeah. I'm sure he's fine, sweetie. You gotta relax. If the Michael Tuff not called, the wedding's in two days. Who? The Guatemalan? What time is he gonna be there? I hate to say this, but the truth is he ain't good enough for you. I mean, he's a good kid. But what you need is a man. Tell him to put it in the trunk. I'll give you what? Come here. Fucking boss, down in the cellar, white bathroom. Where'd you get that? I don't know. Artistic choice. <laughs> Seriously, though. I'm very proud. Whatever else happens, you made a movie, Christopher. Nobody can take that away. 100 years from now, we're dead and gone. People will be watching this fucking thing. You know how much Imperial Vodka I scored just from this party alone? I had a couple of cases put down in your car, too. Thank you. 